Hi there, my name is Joy Austin, and this is my book, Snakes in My Garden, a part of the AHA Reader's Collection from Beelu Books. Why don't you take a minute and read along with me? Last week, I was out in my garden, moving flowers to the ground from pots, and every single day, there was quite an array of snakes in my garden plots. Monday, the snake in my garden was black with white under his jaw. Towards the brush by the pond, he went zipping along, a black racer chasing the cricket he saw. The longest black racer on record was six feet long. Tuesday, the snake in my garden was striped with red, yellow, and brown. He slithered through the grass, and I waved as he passed, a ribbon snake chasing frogs down. The ribbon snake is one of the only snakes that does not lay its eggs. Wednesday, the snake in my garden was bright orange with red spots, so nice. He looked so lovely there, I had to just stare at the corn snake searching for mice. The markings on the belly of the corn snake look like Indian corn. That's how they get their name. Thursday, the snake in my garden was black from fork tongue to tail. His dark, shining smile was so meek and so mild. An indigo snake on a rat's trail. Indigo snakes eat other kinds of snakes, even rattlesnakes and copperheads. Friday, the snake in my garden was brown, bespeckled with black. Almost seven feet long, he went slowly along, a gopher snake rummaging for rats. Gopher snakes are often mistaken for rattlesnakes because they shake their tails when they're scared. Today, the snake in my garden is tan with dark brown spots. With his sharp, upturned nose and a hiss as he goes, the hognose snake hunts for toads. Hognose snakes play dead by flipping over and sticking out their tongues. When I see a snake in my garden, no matter his color or size, I don't touch him or scream. I just let him be. They can be pretty helpful guys. I hope you enjoyed learning about all these different snakes from the southeastern United States. None of the snakes in this book are venomous, but some snakes are. And all snakes, venomous or not, may bite when they feel cornered or scared. Just imagine how scared you'd be if a giant tried to pick you up. Appreciate them from a distance by giving them plenty of space and never try to handle one, even if it's in your very own garden. Thanks for reading along with me today, and be sure to check out some of the other great selections from Beelu Books.